Hey guys, welcome back to Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. Last episode we set up that uh, power system downstairs, which works pretty well. It's been running all the time. Uh, I just want to quickly make a sound muffler down there. Do we actually... Let's double check this. It showed me grey wool, but no, it can be any wool. Okay. Do we have a note block by any chance? Nope. Okay, uh, if you see the screen flash, that's from that uh, Animania thing again, because it uh, always has some issues there, like I said, with those spawn eggs, uh, those fancy ones, because the pack updated, I haven't disabled that again, so yeah. Forgot to do, but I already had to restart today twice, this pack. Hello? May, may, may I get my thank you? <laughs> I don't know why that took so long. And sound muffler, boom, there we go. Just so we can put this down here and turn off the mechanism sounds a little bit. And we do blacklist, I guess, right? I think that's what you have to do. And can we just do mechanism all? Uh, I wonder actually, can you do that? Like, can I do this? No, you have to select something, right? Okay, oh, recent, interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. I could show you what you've heard recently. Um. But I guess the one we would need... I don't know which one it is. I mean, I like the sounds, but I don't want to make them... Have them play all the time. But uh, there is a... This one, for example. There, there are upgrades for... Uh, mechanism as well. Like some sound muffler upgrades. But I mean, this is much much easier, right? So... May as well... Uh, gas gen... And I don't know what else. Crusher, maybe. Oh, yeah. There's one thing. What is that? Is that the separator, maybe? Electrolytic separator. I think that might be all of them, right? Crusher, PSC, separator, gas burning thing. That might be all of them. Hopefully that makes them a little bit more quiet, but we shall see. And I also saw there was one quest in forestry from this flexible casing that we got from, I believe, a quest, right? It's kind of always interesting that you get quest rewards that you need for quests. <laughs> oh, another sleeping bag. Uh, don't really need that, to be honest. Since we can repair this with our... Oh, that's the wrong chest. With our anvil. But today, I think we are going to go back to some of the magic mods a little bit. I just spent the night trying to run around with this Fossic Resonator. This Fossic Resonator shows you if there are any, like, big starlight patches. Um, you know, if you use, like, something like this table here, it requires some star power, some starlight. Uh, of course, at nighttime, this goes up. The higher this is in the sky, it goes up. Uh, but sometimes you can find these like starlight patches. It's like a kind of like a pool of blue particles on the ground if you hold this fossil resonator in your hands and run around at nighttime. Unfortunately, I haven't really found anything. Like I kind of traveled uh, in this radius about looking around. I mean, I probably skipped a few spots, but I haven't really found anything. I mean, it's getting nighttime again. I might have a second look. But I really was hoping that we would have one right next to our base or something. <laughs> Ideally, of course, at the magic base, but no. Not that lucky. Um, but it's okay. It's not 100% necessary. We can just build up high and then lay down there's ways to boost your starlight power anyway. So it's not a big deal. Uh, but I think what we do, what we should do, there's a botanic tab, right? Yes. Okay. So, you know, back to, like, our original whoop, game, original goal right now is, of course, to make these uh, crafting materials, right? And the dice and the glowstone, mostly. Um, still debating if I want to do the glowstone with Botania, but maybe. So we just have to look into some ways of making mana, and one of the easiest ones in this pack is actually the Kekimurus. I don't know if you pronounce it that way. Uh, it eats cake. And with Astro Sorcery, you can make cake really easily by just shining starlight onto pumpkins, right? And you need a uh, a crystal for this, so you need to make a crystal and such. So it would be interesting to set this up. But before we even do this, we have to get some mana anyway for certain other things. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our endo flames here. And we probably have to make a couple more mana spreaders because I don't think that's going to be enough. Do I have some dirt in here? There we go. Uh, toss it on the ground. Oh, yeah, right. It would pick it up again. I wanted to. Isn't it also like this? Yeah, for some reason I made it drop. There we go. Uh, and we have more in here. There's another mana spreader in this. Might as well bring these guys because they're pretty. And can we make another one? What do we need? Oh, glimmering stuff. Okay, that's not a big deal. Yeah, just make all of them. Always crafting bulks. That's really something we should do more often. 
We're gonna grab this guy and I probably will just grab a cardboard box and take this with me because we're gonna set this up over in our little magic area. And I guess I should bring you guys as well. And I'm actually curious about something with this. Um, wow, look at these flowers spreading from our bees. Craziness. Uh, I was wondering if we can somehow use the exchanger from building gadgets automatically on these blocks so we can use the uh, an automatic way of doing the pure daisy stuff. But I guess we can't actually use a, uh, make a user yet because they're pretty expensive, right? Well, actually, well, this one might be a crazy craft. Hold on, computer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that one, right? Oh, but again, that's just, it seems like everything is possible. I think we talked about this at one point before. It's just going to be a huge amount of crafting. But uh, it might work. It might work. I might have to look at this because we can make this now too. We can just make an Osmium compressor and then do this. So that's not a big deal at all, I don't think. So let's just pulverize obsidian, right? Yeah. So it can be any obsidian with uh, diamond, so we can just use our crusher to, oh, well, enrichment chamber to get that. Yeah, so we could make this as well. That might be an option, but let me actually sleep here. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I might look into this uh, just to automate this process a little bit. Uh, one thing we should do here, I fixed up the staircase a bit. It still doesn't look great, but it will do for now. I think we're gonna put a. I kind of want to put like a chimney or, or something, probably here. Uh, I'm not sure how to do this yet, but one thing we should have is a door to the back here, right? Because this is gonna be our little garden area. Oh, and actually, so like I want to use this spot and I guess a bit up here for some botania stuff. It's not huge, but it might be okay for what we need. But we need a way down too. So we should set up like a staircase somewhere. Uh, maybe here? This spot right there? Maybe this could be one? And now you can get to see my dirty secret. I didn't fill in everything. <laughs> um, yeah, I just covered it up. But you, you know, it's totally, um, totally legit reason because, you know, we might need stuff underground. Totally why I, why I did this. Not because I'm lazy or anything. No, no, not at all. But uh, if we do this though, if we just have a staircase go down here, we probably actually want to replace these with those bricks and have those on top too. Do I not have them? Oh, they're probably in here. Uh, they are, but like it's not placing them. What if it has trouble placing half slabs from this thing? And then let's also grab the broken pieces. Do, 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 those guys. And do this. You know, actually, one thing I was thinking about the other day is so we have this way of making uh, a base in creative mode and copy it over and such, which is fun for me. But one thing that you guys seem to have liked in in uh, the other packs and such too is just do some crap uh, building on camera, right? And we don't really do this if we just do it, if we just copy stuff over. So I think we might actually have some, like next time I build something, I might try to record it at the same time and just make it like a bit of a bonus episode. What am I trying to do here? Stairs. I want stairs. Uh, we don't have spruce stairs, huh? Let me go grab some. Because, you know, some if people still want to watch the building process of it, then at least we still have it as well. The problem with the building stuff, of course, is that it takes a long time. Like, even building this took a while. But, I mean, it could be just a long bonus episode or something. We'll see. Okay, we have a door here. I don't like doors like this. We want to have them inside. So it's a bit more depths there. Of course, no depths from the inside, but that doesn't matter. And I guess outside we'll have a piece of rock here. Just makes sense. Wood would work too, I guess, but sure. This works for now, right? Cool. So we have our little pass down here. Do I want the stairs? I think I want the stairs. Yeah, let's try them here. I'm not sure if that's... Oops. Nice placement. <laughs> Always bad. No, this works. This works. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's be honest. I'm going to jump down there all the time anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're going to set up stuff here. So... First of all, we should get our little pure daisies back. These could be tucked away somewhere. They can actually be up here. Maybe that's a maybe that's a bad idea because we don't really need to access them a lot. So maybe we just squeeze them into the corner. This is a three by three here, and one, two, three. This would fit in here as well. So let's get rid of some of this precious grass. 
Always bone meal your areas, your green areas. Just having a flat green surface looks so boring. You can always break it later when you need to, but I don't know. It just looks so much better if you do it this way. And I guess we build a little bit of a... Oops. Platform underneath. Ah, here we go. I love this sword. You know how I had that Iridium thing? I probably... I think adding strengths was a dumb idea, and I'm surprised no one commented on that. <laughs> like, once I added to the episode, I was like, oh man. Probably someone's gonna say something about my choice of upgrades for that sword, because I put on char uh, sharpness, right? We had like two modifiers left. Now, to be fair, we can just level it up, and then... How do I get out now? And then, uh, you know, we just put on more, uh, more things that we want. But I think it would have been smarter to put on... Uh, beheading. More beheadings, right? Because it, it didn't have like a full beheading set yet, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what, don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, I think that would have been a bit more useful. But I guess it works, because I'm not really using it for fighting anyway, because I like this sword a lot. Mostly because it lets me travel so quickly. Um, but uh, do we have... Let's put, down, can I, uh, let's put it down here. I don't want to put it up there. I just want to see if we have more blocks. So it, we had to use this stuff, right? Okay, we don't have any spares. That's okay. I was going to place more up there so we know where to put stuff, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's also, like, decorate our place with these a little bit. Maybe. I mean, they could just, like, hover over here on these little platforms, too. Just a little bit wispy, you know? Cool. So there's that. And then I think what we're going to do first, since we can't make the cake stuff right away, is... Set up a way for us to um, get mana through charcoal or, or not charcoal. Well, maybe charcoal, but def definitely through like locks or something. So for that, we should make an open crate. Is it locks? No, it's planks. Okay, so let's grab a couple of those and make an open crate. These are uh, these are pretty cool. Like they, if you feed them items, they just drop them straight down onto the you know right below them at the center of the block. Not like dispensers or droppers that just move them around like crazy. Oh, it was a quest as well. And we do have some wires. Did we make redstone wires? I don't think we did, right? Or redstone conduits, rather. See that blinking there? Sorry about that. I'll fix it. <laughs> Maybe next time. Uh, what am I looking for? Conduit. These guys. So that's redstone alloy, which we can make in this furnace with just silicone. I'm going to make some of these. Oh, we actually have some of that stuff already pre-made. I wonder actually if I made some of these then. I really can't remember, but... Um, are we out of of conduit binders? Okay. That was easy enough. All right, so I should have the stuff we need, hopefully. And I think we set this up over here for now. We have how many? 12, right? 12 flowers. Uh, forgot how many, like... Hmm could be attached to like one mana spread egg. It kind of depends on how much they produce. So I guess we just have to experiment maybe a little bit. Let's get rid of this staff. And let's see. I guess I want the mana on this side. So the cake, another cake flowers. The endo flame should be here. Uh, let's see. So maybe we do like a four by three sort of thing here. Like this. And we do want the open crate nearby. Maybe... How can I hook this up here, maybe? This will make sense eventually. Now to test this... Uh, do we want... No, we'll, do, we'll test it later. Uh, and then we want the mana spreaders. I think... Let's see, we have 12. I don't think we need that many, to be honest. Because I don't think these produce that much mana. But let's just have... Maybe two. We'll, we'll start with two, I guess. Do we have our wand on us? Wand of the forest. There it is. So many seeds. Get out of your seeds. No one likes you. Until we need you. Okay. And let's see. Nothing will be attached because I placed these first. I don't like how off-centered this is, but at least this is kind of centered, right? Yeah, so we're just going to go shift, right-click, and then right-click. Shift, right-click, right-click, right? No, shift, right-click. How's it? The other way around? No. Bind mode. Oh, no, it worked. Okay, it's 
two shift right clicks. Yeah, we get do six pair spreader. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe we need more spreaders, but for now we'll just start with this. And uh we have collision box. No, to here. You know, it looks kind of sort of neat when things are a little bit random, but uh, I, I kind of don't like when flowers are that random, to be honest. Like the rustic bushes, for example, have a config option to always make them spawn right in the center. Because sometimes they overlap a lot and look super weird. I wonder if the Botania ones have that too. I bet you there is. Botania has like older configs. Let me see, actually. Well, I didn't find anything, but... Uh, Maybe I'm just blind, but it's all right. Uh, and then you guy to here and you to here. Cool. So uh, I guess I should have brought a hopper too. How come I have my... Oh, because of the magnet. I was like, <laughs> I have my seats back. Goodbye, seats. Stay out there, please. Uh, yeah, let's just see if we would drop some here. I guess we would need 12. If all of them get some. And if this mana is enough. But Oh, that was loud. Okay, so they can grab it from here. And you can right-click this with the wand to see if they're, like, contain mana. And you can see they're empty. And these only get, like, filled a little bit. So, yeah. I think, actually, one mana spreader might be enough, too. But, eh, it's okay. It looks fancy like this. There we go. It's filling up with mana, right? Cool. So, that works. Uh, so, what we want to do here, then, is... Let's see. Where's our little thingy-majiggy? Grab two planks. Don't see any planks. Are there... Let's see, maybe try this one. I like redwood trap. I mean, not trap this. Ooh, that makes sticks. Okay, so there's no... Uh, what are they called? Pressure plates. That's what they're called. How about this wood? Do you have pressure plates? Nope. Also makes sticks. Well, I guess oak it is. Oak it is. So we put one here. And what we can do then, um, since I don't have the conduit facade things, how much would that even be, the painter from NIO or painting machine, uh, NIO paint? How expensive are you? Machine chassis, which we can make, I believe. Uh, Infinity bimetal gear. Which requires grains of infinity. So it's actually not expensive. We could make this because then we can cover these cables. But I guess for now I'll just place this here. So I'm going to have something like this. Uh, this is input. And then up here. We have to get a hopper first of all. Alright. And we put the hopper on top. This uh, uh, thingy majiggy. And so, like, you know, if I would put something in here, it, like, drops it right away because it fills the crate and it just drops it. But we want to be able to stop the hopper. So we just put a cable here and say output, red signal. I don't understand <laughs> why these colors are, like, separate when you first place a cable. It's so weird. That that threw me off in Stormblock, too. But the reason why we do this is if we now grab a bunch of coal and just dump this in here... Uh, not this one, <laughs> this one. Um, you know, stuff will fall onto the pressure plate, and only if these guys can pick up the coal, it will let more coal drop down, because, like, you know, if they fall down here, it will send a signal and block this hopper, so it won't drop more items down there. So this way it can't drop more coal if any of these flowers currently are, like, completely used up. So, you know, everything consumed a piece of coal now. Oh, no, this, yeah, I think so. So now it's just sitting there, right? Of course, in five minutes, it's going to despawn and then it will drop again. So if this, for example, runs full, uh, it will still waste all of this coal in there. But I believe you can get the signal from this guy, right? Yeah, see, this one sends out the signal. And what we could do, I should probably get some real redstone real quick. So here we can now say that, you know, this is um, probably just the strength of one right now. Let's see. Yeah, see, this one isn't even uh, active yet. Uh, but we can set this into comparator mode where uh, we have... Here, let's get a lever. And we place the lever, I guess, here? No, right here. And just have a piece of redstone in between. Now, right now, this emits a signal of one or something. If I turn this on, it's comparing these two signals, right? 
It's basically subtracting this strength from this strength. Um, it should be... I'm actually not sure if this needs to be one further away. Because that's currently strength 15. I'm not sure if this guy reads it from here. Or from like this spot. If it would be 14 or 15 at this point. You know what? Just to be safe. I'm going to move this one over. So that this is strength 14. So this means now, because this signal is stronger than this signal, will not send out any signals, right? As soon as this guy fills up pretty much to max, this will be a strength of 15. That means it's stronger than this guy, so it will send out a pulse. Although it will only send out a strength of 1 then, because it subtracts the 14 from this. So technically, um, what I should do is put a cable here. Like this and we say input right right signal so that means as soon as this thing turns on it will also shut off this entire thing and we can test this i guess by just doing this real quick and see if i pick this up yeah see now it shut off this kind of simulates that oh this pool is full don't drop more coal this way we can let this run on the server if this fills up it will not waste our coal so it should be good and i'm just gonna fill the rest here with coal make sure it's completely full and yeah, we're getting some mana. Of course, it's not a ton, but you know, it's something early on. Nice rhyme. And maybe put down a little bit of a light here too, just so we can see it a bit. Nice. All right, so that, now that we have a little bit of mana, so we can like do some stuff with it. Let's take a look at the Kekimoros, right? This is, uh, it's going to take a while to get there, but I think it's going to be good. Because um, that's going to produce quite a bit of mana, I believe. So... We need a couple of things, right? This is just a pedal of apothecary crafting, that's fine. All of these things are fine, it's just pedals. We uh, need this rune of gluttony. Now the runes, um, to make them we need uh, runic altars. And let's actually double check, any of these like super complicated? Nope, those are the same recipes. Cool. But to get the runic altar, we just craft this in the um, in the luminous crafting table, right? It just needs a rock crystal, some, rock, uh, some living rock and either a mana pearl or mana diamond. And since we have so much diamonds, I guess... Do we have some in here by any chance? No. I'm going to grab some and we turn them into uh, mana diamonds. Alright, so I grabbed about 30 diamonds, so we just dumped them in here. We probably can't even do all of them, like maybe... Yeah, a couple of them. How many did we get? Oh, 15. That's pretty good, actually. I was expecting like 3 or 4 or something like this. Like, not a lot, right? Uh, but that's good enough. And I did bring our luminous crafting table, which we'll set up here for now as well. And let's see how the moonlight is. Pretty decent. I think that's going to be enough. Uh, there's creatures around here. I did actually find a second peace kennel. I guess I should just set this up nearby. Uh, oh, there's one rock crystal. That's a pretty good one. But I guess I'll use it for now. We can always get more. Oh, and one thing I didn't show you guys is, you know, when we try to find the rock crystals. Another easy way to find them. You know, I, I went straight down and duck around. But you can just be on the surface, hold this in your hand... And you'll see these light beams showing up over there. And you can see them from pretty far away, right? There's a ton of light beams around here. That means down there is going to be rock crystals. So you can just go dig down there and then find the rock crystals. It's pretty, pretty simple. But let's do this quickly before it actually turns daytime. And there it is, right? There's our runic thingy majiggy. Oh, I put it away. Don't put it away. Did I put it away? Oh, there it is. Boink. I see the particles sort of work in this. Let's actually put down light here too. It doesn't look as crazy as it did with the other shader, which is great. I do feel though my performance is not great, but I... I, f I think I tried this out without shaders the other day, and it's still, it's still not good. Something... I don't know what it is. My PC should be more than capable of running this game at a high frame rate. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Something... something is up here. Okay, this will take a little bit, I guess. Um, I brought all the light welds and stuff again, too. I'm just gonna, like, place them here for now. We have so much light, uh, liquid starlight at the moment. We have, like, this full tank. Super glowy. And then, oops, this tank as well. There we go. But we got our ruining altar. Awesome. And I'll just have this guy sit here for now. Um... Oh yeah, particles. They seem to work. And this one would need a mana spreader, too. We do have another one, I believe, so we might as well, um, there it is, place one there. Now, we won't probably make any runes yet, but I just want to uh, have set up so we have it, right, if we need it. Just like this, cool. Actually, do you, can get powered by redstone? 
I wonder if that would be a problem. Yeah, you can. Ew. <laughs> okay. Um, then that's not a good spot there for this guy, because he would never emit anything. So I guess we just place it maybe on top. That should work, right? I'm just hoping it doesn't, like, waste mana. No, it should be fine. Cool. So we have the Runic Altar done. Now, the biggest issues are going to be, though... Oh, God, these sounds. If you look at Keki Maros again, right? Uh, making these is not going to be a big deal. We just have to gather some of these materials. This, for example, Mana Powder is either Glowstone... Uh, 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 what's it called? Not Glowstone. Gunpowder or, like, Redstone in there. Oh, but now I can't. Destroy it. In. Can you right-click? No. Can... Maybe <laughs> squeeze it in there. No. Okay. You have to go. I'll, I'll put you somewhere else. But yeah, you can dump this in there and then you get the mana powder. This doesn't cost nearly as much as mana diamonds or mana pearls. So all good there. But that is fine, right? So we can make these runes easily. We shouldn't have to worry about them too much, I don't think. But pixie dust is going to be a bit more tricky. Uh, for pixie dust, we'll need elven gateway. And this needs bunch of mana to get uh, to stay open and needs a couple of other things uh, that we need to craft but most importantly of course it's, uh, it's expert mode the elven gateway is quite expensive very expensive so not only do we need a celestial altar which is the third tier table so it's not even the second one right we need the second one to make this we also need to get started with blood magic because some of these require this right and there's some thormium as well that we need to craft so Blood magic we have to get started and we also have to make this guy. Now this guy is, looking at this, extremely easy to make. And if I'm super fast, we can probably do this right now actually. Do I have marble on me in this? Oh, I see day getting daytime though. Which one is it? Nah. Well, I don't think we'll be able to make this. Yeah, not enough. You can see this is how much we have, this is how much we need. It's not even a lot, but yeah, it's, it's unfortunately daytime. So once it turns nighttime again, we can totally make this easily. So it's not a big deal, but uh, getting into the next one then, you know, is going to take a while. Uh, we need Stardust, we need Star Metal Ore, which we need Starlight Trans uh, Fusion for, which we need the um, Starlight Infuser for, ideally. So yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a bit of a craft. All right, so before we end the episode, I want to do a bit of research with Thorncraft as well, because we will need to get started with that or make more progress with this too. The one thing I really want is golems, because I would like to use golems for our uh, tree farm and something, so we can provide our mana production, for example, with uh, charcoal or something. It would be just kind of fun to have, um, you know, golems do the work. So what we have to do is taking a look uh, at the book, I mean. Uh, we have to get to here, discovering Golemancy, right? So we need to uncover all of these things. Now, this one's going to be easy. We just have to climb to the highest peak we can find. So what I'm actually going to do is just grab a bunch of dirt and uh, just pill up. And eventually it will tell me that I have reached the highest point. There we go. The world is spread out before you. I couldn't even finish reading this. But yeah, we just reached it. And the other one that we needed was the lowest steps. We got that at one point when we were looking for the crystals, the rock crystals, but... Yeah, we can complete this, so that is done. Nice. Oh, and then we get into the caster gauntlet. I haven't messed with this at all, so I'm really curious about this. Oh, is this still required? Oh, I guess it is. So that didn't, like, complete the entire chapter yet. Oh, yeah, current stage, two out of three. So we actually have to craft this guy, huh? Okay, interesting. Uh, but then the other thing over here is uh, discovering artifice, for example. This one still requires alchemical metallurgy, which is this over here. That one has three stages too, but we're gonna try this one first, the brass. That's just iron ingots with instrumentum, five instrumentum. Um, so actually I should have made, I made shovels, but I wanna double check the crook, I mean, does it have five? No, it has four, okay. So we're actually gonna make a couple more wooden shovels, I guess, and then we use those, because they have four instrumentum. How much does a pickaxe, pickaxe have? Maybe I should have made those. No, it's also four. Yeah, I don't know if there's something that just has uh, five, but we're going to go with those first. I suppose we can still use them anyway, so we get eight in there. That means we'll need to toss, if we want to keep it clean, we'll have... Oh, we have three left. Okay, it's not going to be super clean. We toss one of these in there, we'll get a instrumentum sliver. And then we'll also have 24 
Urba in there, so we get 12, right? So we need to destroy in 13 of these slivers in total, and then there will be one instrumentum left that shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. <laughs> so let's do this, and one ingot. Uh, there we go, and then we do this. That should be relatively clean. Oh yeah, now I'm curious, what's the new shaders? Can we see through this thing? Oh, these shaders are perfect. But it doesn't actually show us the elements. I thought it would. I think we need the goggles for that. Um, and goodbye, flux. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> How is the flux? That's fine. We can deal with this. But yeah, there we go. We got some alchemical brass. So that should have finished off that quest. Right? Complete. And what's the second stage? It's thormium ingot. So we need theory alchemy. Do we not have enough? Oh no, yeah, yeah. It will consume it once we uh, finish the other thing. And uh, this one is five precantatio and terra. Okay. All right. So five herba, right? The um. Oh, sorry. Five terra. Yep. Yeah. And so we're gonna make two here. And the other one, the precantatio. I'm gonna use these mana diamonds to have five each. All right. So that's perfect. And then we end up with thirty of the other ones, which means we will have to toss in thirty slivers. Right. Fifteen for each of them, because two. They always need two elements. Right. So. That should be okay, hopefully. I'm not sure if that's gonna overfill. We'll find out. Toss these in, toss these in, toss these in, and those guys. Oh, I didn't quite feel. Oh, because it ran out of water, I didn't quite get them all. I don't know if that releases flux too. Doesn't look like it, unless it's spread over some area here. But no, nice, we got this. So that should be done, right? Uh, why can't I use this? One theory. Oh, that's a theory. This is observation. Oh. This requires the research table. Okay. We may have to do this another time then, because I'm not entirely sure how we do this. Um, But this opened up anyway. Okay. And we can actually complete this. Nice. And then we get the uh, goggles of revealing. I believe those will show us how much visa and something. Needs two brass, though. And two of those guys. But since it is nighttime now, we can also quickly craft this guy. Since we have the starlight for it now, and then we get the upgraded version now. The upgraded version? There it is. I think this needs a... Yeah, this needs a structure already. So, next time we'll actually have to go ahead and build something. Is it in here? This one, right? We're gonna have to build this little platform. It's not that little, but they get bigger. Um, What is this? Oh, nice. Oh, cool. I don't know if that was here last time I played. Oh, that's really neat. And then it shows you how many blocks you need. So, yeah, we're going to have to build this now. I'm still not sure where we're going to build the, you know, the Astro Sorcery buildings. Because they are going to be big. So, maybe we'll just have to build them on here. I don't know. Like, we could just get rid of the water a bit. Or something. I don't know. I have to think of us. I'll find a place. But, yeah, cool. We got this guy done as well. So, a little bit of magic pro progress there. Uh, we, we still have to dive into many other areas of the magic mods. But we'll, we'll get there slowly. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.